Hi everyone, I'm Kate Kennedy and I'm here with day 84 of 100 Days of Kane PA. And Kane is so lucky to have so many great services in the area, including our volunteer fire department. So today we're gonna hear from Tom Brinkley, who's been a member of the fire department from around 1960 to the present day. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip you around. And we'll go on out and say hello. Hi, Mr. Hi. Brinkley, how are you? Very good. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for taking time to talk with us today. Um, but first, let's start with where were you born? I was born in Kane. Where in Kane? On the west side in the house. You were born in the house that you grew up in? Yep. Who delivered you? Dr. McGee. Okay, so he came to the house and that's where you were born. Yeah. You had siblings. Were they all born that way as well? Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's the house that you grew up in? Yep. And what elementary school did you go to? West Side. Okay, so you attended the West Side Elementary School for, for first, seven years. First through seventh grade. Yep. And then what was next for you? The Kane High School, across and, from the Park Pond. <laughs> across from the Park Pond, which is, yeah, now the um, Chestnut Street Center, but that's yep. where it was the Kane High School at that time, huh? Mm -hmm. What year did you graduate? 1960. And then once you graduated high school, what did you do next? Well, in August, I went to work for the Kane Handle Company. Well, one of the things that you told me that I thought was pretty interesting is that you graduated high school at 17 because you have a summer birthday. Yeah. So you had a couple months to wait before you were able to get your first job, huh? In August, yeah. <laughs> yep, in August, you got to go to work at, at Kane Handle. Um, could you tell us a little bit about what you did at Kane Handle? What did you start out doing? And then what did you retire as? I started out as a... Uh, inspector inspecting handles and I ended up uh, the plant manager when I left so. so throughout that whole entire time um, you had one place of employment you were 40, always working there 40 years 40 years um, as an employee of Kane handle you kind of moved around and ended as the plant supervisor yeah. plant manager mm -hmm. um, what were some of the things that were made at, at Kane handle at that time we made shovel handles rake handles Different types of yeah, different types bigger of handles, handles like that. Small handles for head shears, okay. loppers. And something that you shared with me that um, I thought was pretty interesting was how it was the only plant that had a certain feature about it from beginning to end. Could you share about that? Well, when I first went there, we had a sawmill on one end, and it went in a, as a log on one end and come out the other end of finished handle was one of the first ones in the world that did that. I think that's pretty impressive. So they could bring the wood from here right to the factory and then went in as a log and out as a finished product. As a dried finished handle. That's pretty cool. Um, and you also uh, married a woman from Kane. Uh, who did you marry and how did you guys meet? I married Marilyn Hanholm uh, and we met at the teen club. Met at the teen club. <laughs> That teen club must have been a really happening place to be. We heard a couple people meeting and marrying from there. <laughs> um, and you said to me that she was one of 14. One of 14 children, yeah. So you married into quite a big family. Yes, I did. And you guys now, you had a family of your own, huh? Yeah, I have three children. Very nice. Okay, so um, one of the things that um, you we were talking a lot about is you worked at Kane Handle that whole time, but you were also really involved in the community in a very specific way. You joined the Kane Volunteer Fire Department pretty young. What year did you join? 1960. So you were around 18. Yeah, you had to be 18. We didn't have junior firemen. Okay, so that was one of the first things that you yeah. did, and you're still active today. Yes. So who was the fire chief, and who were some of the firefighters that were um, there when you first joined? Well, when I joined, there was Doc Gardner was our fire chief. He was a town dentist, and uh, Roger Thompson took me into the fire hall, Stanley Holman, uh, and Matt Bilicic, and, and Virgil Johnson. So Virgil have... and Roger are still around. So That's yeah. awesome. So you really have spent a lot of time with them, it sounds yeah. like. Uh -huh. And I'm sure that things have changed a lot over the years. Um, when you first started at the Kane Volunteer Fire Department in 1960, how did you know there was a fire, and what'd you do? We depended on the air horn and the siren. We had a siren at that time. was behind the borough building where it is now. Okay. And that's how we depended on it. And so you heard that siren, and that's how you knew to get up to the yep. fire department and hop in an engine and go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And you were also telling me something that I didn't realize, that it wasn't always just the one Kane Volunteer Fire Department, but there were more than one. Could you talk about the, the, the different ones and where they were located? Yeah, there was a fire station in each ward. The West Side Hose Company is where our present building was now. Then we had the Griffiths Hook and Ladder Company, which is where the mini park is. And then we had the Rescue Hose Company, which was in the borough building where they meet with the council now. Mm -hmm. The fire truck sat down there. Isn't that amazing to think about? It's a smaller space than where it is now. And then there was a the Mountain Hose Company, which is up on Biddle Street. Uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. And then um, when did they combine into one building? In 1969. Okay. And. And how were you involved in that? What were what were you doing for the fire department at that time? Well, when it first came out that they wanted to centralize the fire station, at that time I was the president, and I appointed the committee and uh, took over, and we moved. We consolidated in 1969, moved into our station then. And at that time, um, they built a new building for you guys too, yes, right? The borough did that. Yes. The borough built a new building for the four fire stations that were yeah. combined. Mm -hmm. And that's where it is present day. Yes. Very nice. And so um, you've been there almost 60 years as a volunteer that whole entire time. And would you mind talking about some of the fires that you um, that you went on? Well, the Vollmer fire where the amphitheater is uptown now. We fought that fire. And then there was a tannery in Mount Joe. We fought that one. And then we fought the tannery in Wilcox, the affiliated. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, so you've responded to some pretty big, yeah, significant we've had fires some big fires, yeah, in this area, yeah. And um, one of the things that we were talking about too is that the Kane Fire Department has always been all volunteer. And you were telling me something kind of cool about when you were working at Kane Handle, uh, how that organization responded to the the firefighters. Could you share about that? The companies in Kane were very good to us. They were there, like the Sir Magnet Plant and the Kane Handle and Kane Manufacturer. They released the men to answer alarm. We had nine or ten guys from each company, and uh, we had a set up where we notified the guys, and uh, they would just shut down their machines and answer the fire alarm, and they never lost a day's pay. Isn't that nice? So that they were supported in their volunteer activity to yeah. support the community, really, by fighting the fires. Yeah, very much, yeah. And you mentioned that the dentist was the, the chief for a while. What happened if the fire whistle went off when he was working? You might sit in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go when you got to go. The one benefit of him being the fire chief and uh, and also the dentist, that if your kids had a toothache, no matter what time of the day, you got in. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> well, that's pretty neat. And you've seen... Um, Probably some of the technology, because I know Kane Fire Department is pretty up on the current technology, um, and you've, I'm sure, over those almost 60 years, seen it change a lot. So, what uh, what other changes have you seen in that time? Well, when I first joined, we didn't have an air pack. Mm. <clears throat> That's a compressed air bottle we wear on our back now. <clears throat> we used to get surplus uh, gas masks from the state through the uh, surplus. And that's what we had when I first joined. Oh, boy. For that, you were old leather lung and didn't wear nothing at all. Oh, my gosh. Into a fire, so. That's hard to imagine now. Yeah, so. <laughs> But Kane Fire Department now has all those Yeah, we have. Oh, we have. Uh, every every truck is manned with, every seat in a truck has an air pack. Mm-hmm. You know. And you recently made a, a new purchase, thanks to a grant by Collins uh, Pine. What was that? We were uh, 40... Uh, new portable radio. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's a really important piece yes. of it, and mm -hmm. that's great that the community um, business like that was able to give a grant to support the fire department yeah. in that they way. They have since they've been in Kane. Yeah, yeah. Been really in supportive. Yeah. Well, the the community is pretty supportive. What would you say? Like, how do you think the Kane community responds to the fire department? We have the best support there is from the people of Kane on our fun letter, our gun bash. Or anything we do, you know. We had a chicken barbecue here in April. We bought 250 chickens in an hour and 20 minutes. They were gone. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, people in Kane show up to support the fire department, which is an important yeah. and wonderful service that we have right yeah. here in town. Um, you also um, have have um, 
a lot of different ages that go through. So when you started, you were 18 yeah. um, and now you're still on. So how, how have you been able to be mentored by some of the firefighters and now see yourself mentoring some of them? Well, I was always mentored by Doc Gardner, Stanley Holman, Archie Buell, uh -huh. Virgil, Roger, uh -huh. and all them guys. So. And so now it's your turn. Yeah, take them under a wing, I guess. <laughs> That's right. And you were chief there for how many years? Well, I was a, the regular fire chief for four years, but I was assistant for about 12. So. Okay, so you've really dedicated a lot of your life to the fire department. I've held every office except the third assistant chief. Wow. Yeah. And the only reason I didn't do that is I started out as a second. I wasn't going to go backwards. I went <laughs> that makes sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then in addition to the fire department, you also have been involved with the Lions Club for a while too. When did you when did you get connected here? I joined the Lions Club in 1992. Oh, and that's also a lot about yeah. service. Yeah. What is special about the Kane's Lions Kane Lions Club? Well, we help people with their eyeglasses and. We sponsor little league teams. We've taken care of the Christmas lighting for years. That's right. You guys are the ones that put up the lights on um, Fraley Street. We own the lights, you, actually. So, you own them, and then yeah. you decorate the town. What, what, is there a day that you normally do that? It's, uh, it's Sunday after uh, Thanksgiving, normally. So is there any part. food involved for you guys? Yeah, food? we have a stuffing party, which we used to. That was our fun letter and went out, and then... We had to, we cook a full turkey dinner, and we still have it, and then we just send the letters out. We have a fun letter now. So, That's pretty cool. Yeah. I think that the Lions Club and the Fires Department, both serving the community in different ways, mm -hmm. um, says a lot about what you like to do in your spare time, which is give back to the community, it sounds like. And we, both of us have a trailer, uh, you know, the fire department cooks hot sausage, and the Lions Club makes snow cones and cotton candy, and popcorn yeah that's right so, <laughs> you can find them both at festivals yeah and they'll be out next week at the kinzu bridge festival that's so. right both mm -hmm. will be there so we can get our meal and our dessert yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh well that's wonderful it's been um really great to kind of hear your experience as a volunteer fire department firefighter here in Kane. is there anything else that you wanted to share i uh, just say we live in a great community and that's why i stayed here all my life yeah, so is that what you'd say why you love Kane? I love Kane because of the people. The and people. I've always been treated good here. Mm -hmm. And the schools were good. Yeah. So You made it you kept it your home. You decided we kept to stay. It our home, yep. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to share? Well, it's been great talking to you. Yeah, it's been great talking <laughs> to you too. Thank you so much for your Since time. Since we watched you grow up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> oh, well, thank you for your time, and it was really great hearing your stories about the fire department. Okay, thanks, Kate. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, too. Um, I love our town. <laughs> we have so many great people that give so much of their time to make sure our community is safe as well as well-served in the service organizations like the Lions Club as well. So uh, thanks again for tuning in. I guess the question for you today would be um, how have you – what do you appreciate about the fire department or how have you seen them helping in the community? Because I'm sure there's so many ways that we didn't even touch on today. So go ahead and comment on that below. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you tomorrow for day 85.